Hi guys and welcome to a new airsoft video on LWA. As every airsofter should know there are two main rules within airsofting. Rule number one, eye pro must be warned at all times. Rule number two, no blind firing. Reason why? Safety. You don't know whether or not you're shooting over a wall, shooting around a corner, whether that person around that corner are wearing their eye pro, or you don't know where you're shooting them. You could be shooting them in the neck, you could be shooting them in the private area. I'll leave a link in the description for a video if you want to see that in action. And, you know, generally you don't know where you're shooting somebody. So that's the main reason why no blown firing. But let me give you a scenario. Let's say for argument's sake, this wall here, I'm actually stood here and I've peeked around the corner and I can see that there are three enemy down there. I could quite simply pop my head around the corner, look down the site, which is the rule. You must not, uh, you must always look down the site and I could actually take the enemy out. But if I take one of them out, the likelihood is the other two will take me out. So how do you get around this problem? A grenade. In particular, an Airsoft Innovations Cyclone Grenade. Let's have a look at this bad boy. First thing I want to let you know before we actually get into the video is that I have already used this. I did want to make it an unboxing video, but unfortunately I actually bought it. I wanted to get it out into the play area and I basically opened it up before I actually uh, did a chance to do this video. Um, I bought this myself. Airsoft Innovations have not paid me. They're not giving me this for free to use or anything on those lines. This has been bought out of my own pocket and so this is a God honest true review of the Cyclone Impact Grenade. So I'm going to pretend that we actually haven't already opened this and played with it already um, and we're just going to pretend that this is me unboxing the video. So in the box you get the actual grenade itself which we're going to have a look at in a moment. You also get given in the special mystery patch patch ones a patch. I actually like that. I like that. I'll stick that on the patch board. And then you also get the instructions and you also get some extra stickers. So if you want to make the grenade your own and actually make it a different color, then you can also stick on the extra stickers if you want to as well. I am actually considering putting on the orange one. So we'll move the instructions out of the way because I'm going to give you a run through of it. We'll move the box out of the way because, well, that's the box. Just the kit content. Just some information about the weapon and also just a warning so this is a green gas impact grenade which works by when you fill it up with gas you also fill it with bbs this bad boy holds 140 bbs um, you basically throw it and as you throw it it sprays out the bbs out this little hole here so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the assembly of how to put the actual grenade together and then I'm going to set up my GoPro outside and we'll do a couple of tests. I actually want, I actually want to test to see whether or not you actually need the spoon. Um, and the main reason why is, as you can see here, I have already kind of um, hooked up um, the firing pin uh, to the uh, spoon to try and keep them together. Because whenever you pull the firing pin out, you can take the spoon off and uh, throw it without the actual spoon attached. Um, because to be honest with you, this is actually quite solid and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I'm thinking you might be able to get away potentially just using the firing pin. And you might even be able to get away with not using one of the actual firing pins supplied. If you've got a selection of firing pins like I already do have here, then you might be able to get away with using one of those. So we're going to have a look at that. But first of all, we're going to look at assembly of how to actually put the cyclone grenade together so first of all then uh, you take your um, firing pin so as you can see here on the bottom there's a brass bit which actually reject, it ejects down into the actual firing mechanism of the cyclone itself what you need to do on a hard surface is you need to push it down and then you just need to simply move it to manipulate it so it sits over to one side like that as you can see the firing pin is held up in place and as you can see there, the firing pin is also, why is it not focusing? Hang on, there you go. The firing pin is also off to one side as well. So if I was to pull that over, that actually fires down. And as you can see there, it's actually fired down. So I'll reset it again. Now, like I said to you already, the, um, the instructions say that you then take the uh, spoon and you uh, simply put it over that to hold the, the actual firing pin in place and then you put in the safety pin to stop the spoon from coming out. If I can get this 
Uh, oh yeah, do that side. Um, like I said, I put the string on myself to uh, keep them together. It worked really well having the string on there because it does mean that yeah, the spoon and the firing pin stay together. And um, you know, it uh, means when you're throwing the grenade, you can actually keep the whole of the two items together. So once you've actually assembled the firing pin, you then need to attach it onto the top of the cyclone, but you simply just put it on and then you just twist it so it's actually in place. That is now in place. Now it's really important that every couple of times that you throw the grenade you put a couple of drops of oil into the uh, gas chamber here. This is where the green gas goes in. Um, and uh, once you've actually assembled the firing pin this will hopefully, well it should be out like that. Okay. And then what you simply do is you just pop, pop it down like that. So then that means that that is then flush. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You can basically fill it up with um, BBs or you can fill it with the green gas. I think it's better to do the BBs first and then do the green gas second because if you put the green gas in and then for some reason it accidentally fires for whatever reason, you're gonna potentially get a face full of gas and BBs. So take the um, BBs that you're putting in and you don't need to basically fill them up with a speed loader or anything along those lines. You just simply take a handful and you just pour them in. Now, I'm not going to fill it too much because I don't want too many BBs all over my garden. So I'm just going to put in just a small handful there. You then take your green gas, or red gas in this case, and you basically just fill it up from the nozzle and you put it in. And... Okay, I'm not doing a very good job of this, sorry. There you go, filled up. Now, the really important bit, as you can see on the bottom of the grenade here, if it focuses, focus, focus on my hand, there we go. So as you can see here on the bottom, there is a little notch right here. And on the bottom of the casing, there is also a little kind of slot there. There. What you need to do is you need to line those up so they both go in together. And when you actually line them up together, it means that the actual thing is actually lined up and it's going to fire. There we have it. All prepped, ready to go. So we're going to do a couple of firing tests. First of all, the first one is we're going to simply put, put this down and throw it against the um, pavement. And we're just going to watch it go off just for the first time. And then we're going to try and do it without the spoon attached, just the firing pin. And then the third test we're going to do is we're going to do it with one of these firing pins to see whether or not it actually holds the actual firing pin in place. So we're going to put the pin in, throw it down on the floor, see if it goes off. If it doesn't go off, then it means that you can use these pins. If it doesn't go off with this, then it means that you could potentially just use this. So we've got three firing tests. Let's go outside and do them. Okay, so here we go. Then we're gonna go ahead with the free test. As you can see over there, I have got the GoPro set up so we can hopefully get a little bit of slow-mo action and maybe uh, get some nice close-up views of the grenades going off. I'm gonna set this up on my tripod so you can actually see me throwing the grenades over in that general area. Rule number one are here too, got the iPro on. So test number one then is we removed the firing pin. We removed the spoon. As you can see, that is now in the firing position. And three, two, one. It did go off, but the BBs didn't go very far. Well, that's a lie, one of the BBs went. Let's try that again. So we'll try that again then, test number two. And there weren't that many BBs in there. As you can see, it did work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to refill it. And we're not going to put the spoon on this time. But we're going to throw it with the pin attached to see if it actually goes off. If it doesn't go off, that's brilliant. Because it means that the safety pin works without the spoon. If it does go off, then obviously you know that we need to use the spoon. So test number three then is, as you can see here, we've got the safety pin in. We've got the firing pin armed. We're going to throw it over there um, and see if it goes off. If it goes off with the actual safety pin in, then we know that you need to use a spoon as well as a safety pin. So let's try that one out. So 
So there you have it. You don't need the actual spoon to be able to fire the grenade with um, the safety pin in place. Just to prove that this is actually armed, we'll take this out and we'll throw it. So for test number four, as you can see, I've got a regular safety pin in the actual device itself. Just one that you can actually pick up from uh, any kind of like Thunderbee or any other kind of imitation grenade. And um, we're just going to throw it against the wall and see if it can actually keep the firing pin from firing. If it can, then we'll just fire it off to just to prove that it's primed. So there we go. Let's have it. Didn't fire. Yeah, again, just to prove that it's actually armed. There you go. So there you have it, guys. The Airsoft Innovation Cyclone Impact Grenade. I actually really, really like this thing. I think it actually has a lot of potential. I wish there wasn't so much plastic to it because it is going to get dented up and beaten very quickly. Um, I wish that the actual putting on the bottom cap wasn't so complicated with having to line up those two um, grooves um, because that is a little bit tedious as well. But in regards to the actual grenade itself and its functionality um, and the cost, I mean it's only like 45 quid, um, it is a really good bit of kit and a really good bit of kit for CQB environment as well because in CQB they don't allow the XL burst or they don't allow Thunderbees or TRMRs. So um, definitely one that you should definitely get in your kit especially if you are playing CQB because it comes in extremely handy as you have seen on previous videos that I used it on. So. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate the support on this new channel. I've already got 15 subscribers to the channel already and this is only my fifth video. So thank you very much for all the guys that already have subscribed. I Hopefully I'll get many more. I have set myself a little bit of an internal goal to get a certain subscriber content by my birthday, which is the 2nd of February. I won't tell you what it is, it's just an internal thing. But uh, thanks very much for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care guys.